Hey, this is Eric Simmons, and I'm going to show you how to turn a list of websites into a, a sortable, searchable list on your Google site. Um, so you can sort these website games by grade, website links, whatever they're for. Um, you know, grade 2, you can click on the link there. Um, basically, what you need to do is to get all of this information into a spreadsheet, a Google spreadsheet back here. Um, and so once you have all the information in here, I just used you know, random grade 1, 2, and 3. I just made these name of the game, name of the website, and subject up. And I obviously made this up as well. Um, so once you have that information in there, you need these headers on the top. And before you do anything else, you also need to freeze the top row of the spreadsheet. So when I scroll down, you'll see the top row stays there. So what you do is highlight that whole row by clicking right here, and just go to View, Freeze Rows, and I just have Freeze One Row. So it keeps that row there. And you'll also need to, before you go anywhere else, share this to, you know, you'll just say Private, um, share it to anyone with the link, and then just leave it so they can view if you don't want them to change it. So once you have that, you can go over to your Google site and go into edit mode. And I'm just going to erase this for the time being. And then you just insert the spreadsheet underneath the insert menu. So insert, spreadsheet, and then it pops up all your Google documents and you can search through them if you don't see it. But if it's the last one you edited, like right here test spreadsheet for Travis website. I'm going to select that. And then you can obviously add a, add a title. Um, you can change the height of it if you want. I don't know how much stuff you have on there. Um, and then right here, I usually leave this empty. Spreadsheet, spreadsheet published. Or you're going to want to choose list. And hit save. If you just chose spreadsheet, it would just show the basic spreadsheet. But when you choose list, hit save. All that pops up is this right now. I usually like to center it. I hit save. And so you'll see that this pops up. Um, you know, it gives you sorting menus for over here as well, which you don't necessarily need. But you can at least choose grade, grade two. I'll kick back everything grade two. You'll see right here that it says edit, but that's only because I'm signed in. You, know, you can edit it when you go to add some of these you can edit things right here you can add add stuff to this list from here or for me it's easier just to do it on the spreadsheet side when you want to change things on that so if you go over to a I'll update this I'm not signed into Google over here so this is what your students would see they don't have the edit row they can just go choose grade 3 and mine has this blank here because I had blank cells on that spreadsheet. You can delete all the extra cells after your list. And I think that's going to be the easiest way to get this list on your website. And I hope that helps. Thanks.